ground where negotiators will attempt to put aside differences regarding Iran's nuclear program and come together to reach a deal. CCTV's Dan Whitehead is live for us in Luzon. And Dan, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif had a meeting during its first full day of talks. So is this an optimistic sign? Well, absolutely. And a nearly five hours of talks taking place here today. 20 minutes of those one-on-one -on -one between Kerry and Zarif. The Iranian foreign minister giving reporters stood outside the hotel a glimmer of hope. Finally, finally, we will get something, the Iranian foreign minister Mohammad Javid Zarif shouted before being whisked away to meetings in Brussels. Whether the feeling is mutual is unknown, but negotiations here in Lausanne are reaching a critical stage. Analysts say both Iran and the U.S. want a solution soon. I think it's also quite clear to the main actors that over the foreseeable future, the conditions for a deal will not improve significantly. So in a sense, there's very little incentive to wait um, uh, for things to get better. For Iran, the lifting of sanctions is key. They cost the Iranian economy billions of dollars. The high stakes mean that neither side will want to sign up to an agreement which they see as unsatisfactory means these talks could go down to the wire. John Kerry says the differences which remain are political. On the Iranian side, any political concessions would play well to a domestic audience. They cannot go home and tell, uh, you know, to, to tell basically the country that uh, we have been doing concessions, but uh, the removal of sanctions is going to take longer than expected. While there may be positive signs emerging, one thing is for certain when it comes to these talks, moods can change very quickly. So, Dan, at this stage, what are the main sticking points? Well, firstly, just how quickly the U.S. can lift those sanctions. Iran wants them lifted pretty swiftly. The President Barack Obama does have the ability to suspend them straight away, but that would be a highly controversial move. Secondly, just how much nuclear capability Iran should have for its civilian needs. Now, the P5 plus one group uh, say that that should involve intrusive checks on Iran's nuclear stockpile. That remains a highly contentious issue. The talks resume here tomorrow morning. Back to you. All right, Dan.